Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to cook Napa Valley pistachio crusted sirloin tip roast of beef. Now I've got a gorgeous roast of beef here and it's already tied up beautifully for me from my butcher. It's 1.7 kilograms or about 3.75 pounds. We are going to cook this in the oven around uh, 15 to 20 minutes per pound, so just bear that in mind before you get started. Now what I've done already to start with, I have ground up a bunch of pistachios, okay? Already uh, dry roasted and salted. They have just been pulverized into kind of a crumb mixture here. So that's about a cup and a half of pistachio crumbs. I don't know if that's how much I'll need, but it's good to have extra and not skim. Now I'm going to add some freshly ground black pepper. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you need to get one. Make sure that's on your Christmas list. <laughs> Hopefully you'll get it as a stocking stuffer because I use mine every day. I couldn't live without it. Um, it gives you really fresh, fresh spices instead of having to get them ground from the store already. Now I'm gonna use some gorgeous Napa Jack's uh, steak rub today because this is specifically designed to use with beef and it's going to be perfect with our roast of beef. Uh, so just go ahead and sprinkle maybe a teaspoon in here, maybe a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons. Um, make sure you check out my review on this. It is extremely tasty and it is a beautiful complement with beef. Mix that all through. Nice and spicy. I don't need any salt because it's already salted. Now, I on my stovetop, I have a large oven-proof frying pan ready to go. It's preheating with some olive oil. I need probably two to three tablespoons of olive oil in this pan preheating. I also have my oven preheating to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm also gonna use a fantastic new ingredient from Wine Country Kitchens. This is their Napa Valley Pistachio Infused Oil Blend. What an amazing concentrated flavor of pistachio. Very, very versatile. You can use it to cook with, to bake with. You can use it as a finishing oil. You can use it in your salad dressings, whatever you want. Now, I don't cook with mine so much because it tends to sort of you know, break down that pistachio flavor a little bit. However, I am going to put just a little bit of this in my pan also with my olive oil to pan fry this uh, crusted roast of beef first off. So just a little bit, you only need a little bit because it's full of flavor. So I think I added maybe a teaspoon of that and we're just gonna mix that in through that oil. It's going to give you such a beautiful uh, flavor, you won't believe it, unreal. All right, now you wanna wait until your oil is nice and hot. It has to be dancing. So you're gonna splash a drop or two of water in there or liquid and see if it sizzles. If it does, it's ready to go. If not, you need to preheat it just a little bit further. Now I'm going to crust this very well and I'm gonna actually let it sit so it can kind of soak on there a little bit. There's no need to use anything else to wet this up because your roast is likely quite moist already. And if you rinsed it off after you got it from the butcher, then hey, you're good to go. So I'm just going to generously make sure that this is completely coated with pistachio. Oh, that looks beautiful. It's really sticking on there in a really uh, perfect way. I've done a beautiful crusted pork loin like this, make sure you check out that recipe because it was stellar. I love using surprising ingredients to crust these large pieces of meat. It's usually a very nice finish. Really pack it on there. I'm gonna make sure that it's good and crusted. I can see all those beautiful spices that are in that uh, Napa Jack steak rub, gorgeous. Press it onto the sides and all those little pieces that are exposed, do your best all you can do. This is a very festive sort of um, recipe. Pistachios are very seasonal and roast of beef is a gorgeous way to go for Christmas or New Year's, uh, especially when you know you've already hit up the turkey train a couple times this year for major feasts. So I'm just going to set this to the side and let that just kind of dry on there as best I can. All right, now look at this. You have these little bits of red and little bits of green pistachio. They're so beautiful. What a lovely crust that has created thus far. Now I can see those little spices from the steak rub and oh, they're just so tasty. Let me read you some. The salt spices, they're, they're being very secretive, uh, including chili, pepper, garlic, and canola oil. However, I, do, I can see some uh, dill seeds in here. 
um, you know, it, and it's very, very savory. There's a number of different things. I think there's probably some onion in there too. My oil is hot and ready to go. And boy, does it smell like pistachio in here. That oil is so um, gorgeous. So much flavor in there. You're almost using it like, um, like a pistachio extract. That's how much pistachio is in there. Now this is an oil blend. There's canola oil, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, pistachio nut oil, and pistachio uh, flavoring, flavoring, natural pistachio flavoring. Fantastic. So we are going to brown this roast of beads in this frying pan. This might take you 15, 20 minutes. This is where a lot of flavor develops. And this is where you're really going to develop that gorgeous crust you're looking for of your pistachio. So you don't want to burn it. You just want it to get nice and browned. Now, when you put it in the pan, you want to touch it minimally because the more you mess with it and move it around, the more that pistachio coating is going to fall off and you don't want that at all to happen. You want it to stay on there like a nice crust. Now, when you put this in the pan, it should sizzle. Now, this roast beef is going to finish in the oven in this oven-proof frying pan. So that's why I'm starting off with it this way. It's just big enough for this gorgeous beef. Okay, it's nice and browned on these sides. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this into the oven on 325 to finish. Now I'm gonna let it brown just a little bit further in the oven and I'm gonna keep my eye on it. I'll probably let it go another 15 or 20 minutes. And then I have a piece of aluminum foil sprayed on the shiny side and that's gonna go shiny side down and so that it doesn't continue browning, but it will continue cooking. You don't wanna completely smother it and and cover it completely because it'll steam and you don't want that, you want it to roast. So into the oven it goes. So this is gonna go roughly 15 to 20 minutes a pound depending on how big your uh, roast is. And I'll show you once I get it to the browned point that I'm happy with. All right, I think this roast is done. It looks beautiful, Mom. Mm -hmm. It smells amazing. Wow. Look at how gorgeous this pistachio crust is. It stayed on beautifully. It's nicely browned. Now, we're going to test this with our thermometer to see what we're looking for. What we're looking for is probably about a medium, medium well. Mm -hmm. uh, we have people in the house that like well done on the outside, so they'll eat the outside pieces and mom and I will eat you know, right. the pinky pieces. So let's go ahead. We're gonna use our Alpha Grillers awesome digital thermometer amazing thing. Make sure you check them out online at alphagrillers.com and they're also sold on Amazon. Right into the center where the meatiest part is and it's going to go right up. It has this awesome hold button so you can just hold the temperature so you don't have to remember. I think that's great. 139, 140. That's about medium, medium in there mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. So we're going to actually let this rest. Uh, for about 10 minutes underneath an aluminum foil tent. The temperature is actually going to continue to rise for a couple minutes longer and it will continue to cook in there a little bit longer too. Mm -hmm. So let it rest. If you started trying to cut into this right now, all those beautiful juices you've worked so hard to keep in there will just flow out. You'll have dry beef. And when you're going to all the effort and spending the money for a good roast beef, you want it to be juicy and succulent mm -hmm. and, and moist. So that's what we're looking for. We'll see you in about 10 minutes and we're gonna cut this up and eat it. Mm -hmm. All right, this has been sitting for eight to 10 minutes. I wanna make sure that none of those juices are just gonna ooze out of here, okay? So we're ready to go. I'm just gonna move this onto the cutting board. Do you wanna cut it? Sure. Now we have those strings on the outside. Oh, look at that. Yes, all these drippings. Oh, when we could make um, Yorkies. Mm -hmm. Pistachio Yorkies. Right. All right, so mom's gonna start this off. I guess, do you need some scissors for here for these strings? So cut the strings off if you have them around there. You don't wanna eat any of those. Try not to pull off too much of that crust. That's a shame. All right, so mom's just gonna slice some gorgeous pieces. The pieces on the outside are gonna be much more well done than the ones on the inside, and that's what I'm after. Plates. Ooh, I can't wait to taste this. It smells so delicious in here, Mom. Are you ready to try this with me? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. I have to show you this, you guys. It is just one of the most glorious looking roasts of beef you've ever seen. 
with these green pistachios, that meat is juicy and succulent. And the uh, beef juices have been all absorbed by this gorgeous pistachio crust mixture. The, mm. the scent of pistachio is amazing. Beautiful. All right, let's get some on our plates. Okay, the proof's in the pudding. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, the meat is beautiful on the center. It was perfectly like medium to medium well. Mm. <laughs> Mm, that is good. Mm. Oh, mom. I don't want anything else for dinner. This is all I want. I just want beef on my plate. Mmm. What's wonderful about it? It is oh, moist. It's moist. tender. It's juicy. Mm -hmm. It's savory as all get out. The spice rub from Napa Jack's, that steak rub, is just perfect with beef absolutely perfect it really enhanced the flavor mm -hmm. of the pistachio crumbs the pistachio crumbs stayed on beautifully it has this mm -hmm. gorgeous green color on the outside and the meat is red it's like the mm -hmm. perfect christmas or new year uh feast mm. no horseradish necessary delicious. Mm. the pistachio mm -hmm. flavor is really really intense mm -hmm. um it's a gorgeous uh, combination with beef. The the nuts just soaked up all those gorgeous liquids that come out of the roast beef and just made the most beautiful crust you could imagine. Oh, that's mm. wonderful. Mm. Mm. Mom and I are just going to polish off a plate of meat. <sighs> mm. Mm. You need to try these um products here. Oh, they just soak into the meat and mm. what you get is just something so amazing. Mm. Mm. Perfectly done through to the center, yeah. the way we like it. If you can kind of appease everyone who likes different stages of mm -hmm. the uh, doneness. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. That's beautiful. Mmm. Just couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. Mmm. Pistachios are so tasty. Mmm. It's just unbelievable. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> the best. Very good. Very, very good. Mmm. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous piece of meat. That pistachio crust is so lovely. It's so flavorful and it carries through the whole piece of meat. You're excited to get to that little bit of corner piece while you're eating the center. <laughs> it's delicious. And it's moist. Look at that tender, tender meat. Oh, so delicious. You like that? Mm -hmm. It's nice and peppery. It's beautifully savory, perfectly savory. The pistachio really shines through. And what an exciting kind of roast beef to bring to your holiday table especially with the green color. I love, just love using pistachios because they're a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. oh, what a taste. What and the nice. taste is amazing. Not only can you use the pistachio while you're cooking savory dishes, but baking with it is amazing too. Sweets and desserts, oh, so awesome. So make sure you check out winecountrykitchens.com online for this beautiful infused oil blend and their whole line of these nut oils. They've got macadamia, they've got pistachio and walnut and truffle. Make sure you check out our reviews on them. They're amazing. You can use them for so many different things. Such concentrated deliciousness. Um, also the spice rub, so versatile. You can use them not just for steaks, but all kinds of beef dishes. We've used them in cabbage rolls, mm -hmm. uh, meat on a stick, things like that. Really, really lovely line of uh, spices from Napa Jacks, also at winecountrykitchens.com. Awesome place for stocking stuffers and foodie gifts and, you know, hostess gifts, birthday presents. What a delicious place to shop <laughs> online. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Anyhow, that's how you do it, folks. That's how you cook a Napa Valley pistachio crusted sirloin tip roasted beef. That's a mouthful. 
Lovely. A tasty right? mouthful of that. So good. You <laughs> all just love it. I know you will. You are. Check out mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly. YouTube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku, Cooking with Kimberly. And I'm also syndicated on Apple TV. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Happy holidays from our house to yours. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh boy, mom. Man, that's good. Whoa.